Hello, welcome back to Talk to Me in Tagalog. This is the continuation of our Filipino um verbs lesson. As I've said in another video, um verbs are doer focused verbs just like the mug verbs, meaning the subject of the sentence is the focus of the action. If you haven't seen our um verbs lesson on how to form the infinitive and past aspect, I placed the link in the description box below. Make sure you check it out. In this video, you will learn how to form the present and future aspects of um verbs. But before we proceed to that, let me tell you that um verbs are also used to describe or tell something about acts of nature or what we call the acts of God. We will study nine words related to acts of nature in this lesson. Try to memorize the root words and pay attention to the first letter of each word which I underlined because our rules in forming the present and future aspects depend on them. Our first root word is ulan, ulan, meaning rain, araw, araw, sun, ambon, ambon, drizzle, baha, baha, flood, bagyo, Bagyo, meaning typhoon. Kulog, kulog, thunder. Kidlat, kidlat, lightning. Lindol, lindol, earthquake. Hangin, hangin, wind. So how do we form the present tense of um verbs? Just remember these two simple rules. If the root word begins with a vowel, just repeat the first letter of the root word and add um at the beginning. To make it simple, um plus first letter of the root word plus root word. You will see how it works in our examples later. And if the root word begins with a consonant, you need to insert um after the first letter of the root word and then add the first vowel of the root word and then the root word. It may sound a lot, but I assure you that it's not that hard. So again, our rule in forming the present aspect of the um verbs, if the root word starts with a consonant is first letter of root word plus um plus first vowel of root word plus the root word. Let's now apply the rules on root words that begin with a vowel. Our first example is ulan, meaning rain. The first letter of ulan is u, so to form the present aspect, it's um plus u plus ulan, umu ulan, umu ulan, which means raining. It's very easy, right? Our second example is araw, which means sun. If we want to say that it's already becoming sunny, just form the present aspect by affixing um before the first letter which is a and the root word. Um plus a plus araw, uma araw, uma araw, meaning becoming sunny. Next is ambon, meaning drizzle. Present aspect is um plus a plus ambon, uma ambon. Uma ambon, meaning drizzling. Now, let's study how to form the present aspect of root words that begin with a consonant. Look at the word baha, which means flood. The first letter is ba, which is a consonant, so you add um after it. Then, look for the first vowel in this root word, which is a. Place it after um, and then add the root word. So the present aspect of baha is ba plus um plus a plus baha, buma baha, buma baha, meaning flooding. Next is bagyo, which is almost the same as baha, ba plus um plus a plus bagyo, buma bagyo, buma bagyo, which means being hit by a typhoon. Next we have kulog, kulog. Present aspect, kumukulog, kumukulog, meaning thundering. Kidlat, kidlat, present aspect, kumikidlat, kumikidlat, 
meaning being struck by lightning. Lindol. Lindol. Present aspect, lumilindol. Lumilindol, meaning being hit by an earthquake. Hangin. Hangin. Present aspect, humahangin. Humahangin, becoming windy. There are two acts of nature that are considered exceptions to these rules. All you have to do is memorize them. One is nagiging maulap. Nagiging maulap, meaning becoming cloudy. The other one is nag-i-snow. Nag-i-snow, meaning snowing. If you're new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon below so you will get notified every time I upload a new lesson. Now, let's study how to form the future aspect of um verbs. For root words that begin with a vowel, just repeat the first letter of the root word. For example, ulan. Just repeat u so it will become u ulan. U ulan, which means will rain. Araw. Future aspect, a araw. A araw, meaning will become sunny. Ambon. Future aspect, a ambon. A ambon, will drizzle. Let's now move on to forming future aspect of um verbs for root words that begin with a consonant. The rule is also very simple. Just repeat the first syllable of the root word. Like baha, the first syllable is ba, so it will become ba baha. Ba baha, meaning will flood. The same goes for bagyo. First syllable is also ba, so the future aspect is ba bagyo. Ba bagyo, will be hit by a typhoon. Next is kulog. First syllable is ku, so future aspect is kukulog. Kukulog, will thunder. Kidlat, future aspect. Kikidlat. Kikidlat, meaning the lightning will strike. Lindol, future aspect. Lilindol. Lilindol, meaning will be hit by an earthquake. Hangin, future aspect. Hahangin. Hahangin, will become windy. Lastly, we have the two exceptions. Magiging maulap. Magiging maulap meaning will become cloudy, and mag snow mag snow will snow. Now, let's use these nine words related to acts of nature in a sentence. The first sentence is the present aspect, and the second one below is the future aspect. Nakakainis, umuulan na naman. Nakakainis, umuulan na naman. Nakakainis means how annoying and umuulan means as what you have learned earlier is raining and na naman is again. Nakakainis, umuulan na naman. How annoying, it's raining again. Future aspect, uulan daw ng malakas mamayang gabi. Uulan is the future tense. The word daw is used in reported speech which means you are just repeating what somebody else has said. We have a separate lesson about Dao and Rao, just click on the link below. Then, malakas, which means strong, but since we are talking about rain, it means heavy. Mamayang gabi means tonight or this evening. Uulan daw ng malakas mamayang gabi. It has been reported that it will rain heavily tonight. Present aspect, umaaraw na, baka hindi na uulan. Umaaraw na, baka hindi na uulan. Umaaraw na means it's becoming sunny now, baka is maybe, hindi is not, and uulan is will rain. Umaaraw na, baka hindi na uulan. It's becoming sunny now, maybe it's not going to rain anymore. Future aspect, sa wakas, aaraw na ulit bukas. Sa wakas, aaraw na ulit bukas. Sa wakas means at last, aaraw is will become sunny. Ulit means again, and bukas is tomorrow. Sa wakas, aaraw na ulit bukas. At last, it's going to be sunny again tomorrow. Present aspect, 
Uy, umaambo na. Mukhang uulan. Uy, umaambo na. Mukhang uulan. Uy means oh. And umaambon is uh, drizzling. Mukhang means it seems and uulan is going to rain. Uy, umaambon na. Mukhang uulan. Oh, it's drizzling. It seems like it's going to rain. Future aspect. Magpayong ka. Aambon yata ng malakas. Magpayong ka. Aambon yata ng malakas. Payong means umbrella. Magpayong is to use or bring an umbrella. Magpayong ka, use an umbrella. Aambon means will drizzle and yata means it looks like or it seems like. Magpayong ka, aambon yata ng malakas. Use an umbrella, it looks like it will drizzle a lot. Present aspect, bumabaha sa bakoor ngayon dahil sa bagyo. Bumabaha sa bakoor ngayon dahil sa bagyo. Bumabaha means flooding or flooded. Bakoor is a city outside Metro Manila. Ngayon means today, dahil is do or because, and bagyo means typhoon. Bumabaha sa bakoor ngayon dahil sa bagyo. Bakoor is flooded today due to the typhoon. Future aspect, babaha sa syudad kapag barado ang mga imbornal. Babaha sa syudad kapag barado ang mga imbornal. Babaha means will be flooded. Syudad is city. Kapag means if. Barado is uh, clogged. And imbornal means sewage pipe. Babaha sa syudad kapag barado ang mga imbornal. The city will be flooded if the sewage pipes are clogged. Present aspect, laging bumabagyo sa batanes. Laging bumabagyo sa batanes. Laging means always. Bumabagyo is being hit by a typhoon. And batanes is a beautiful province in the northernmost part of the Philippines. Laging bumabagyo sa Batanes. Batanes is always hit by a typhoon. Future aspect, abala ang mga tao sa Bicol, babagyo na naman kasi. Abala ang mga tao sa Bicol, babagyo na naman kasi. Abala means busy, mga tao is people, and Bicol is another beautiful province in the southern part of Luzon Island, which is home to our most active volcano, the Mayon Volcano. Babagyo means will be hit by a typhoon, na naman is again and kasi means because. Abala ang mga tao sa Bicol, babagyo na naman kasi. The people of Bicol are busy because the typhoon is going to hit again. Present aspect, delikado kapag kumukulog at kumikidlat. Delikado kapag kumukulog at kumikidlat. Delikado means dangerous, kapag means when or if. Kumukulog is thundering and kumikidlat is when the lightning strikes. Delikado kapag kumukulog at kumikidlat. It's dangerous when it's thundering and the lightning strikes. Future aspect, pumasok kayo sa loob, mukhang kukulog at kikidlat na naman. Pumasok kayo sa loob, mukhang kukulog at kikidlat na naman. Pumasok means to go in, kayo is the plural form of you, and sa loob means inside. Mukhang means it looks like. Kukulog is will thunder, kikidlat means the lightning will strike, and na naman means again. Pumasok kayo sa loob, mukhang kukulog at kikidlat na naman. Get inside, it looks like it will thunder and the lightning will strike again. Present aspect, lumilindol ba o nahihilo lang ako? Lumilindol ba o nahihilo lang ako? The present tense lumilindol is used when the ground is shaking due to an earthquake. Nahihilo means dizzy, lang is just or only, and ako means I. Lumilindol ba o nahihilo lang ako? Is it shaking or am I just dizzy? Future aspect, ayon sa hula, lilindol daw sa iba't ibang lugar. Ayon sa hula, lilindol daw sa iba't ibang lugar. Ayon means according to or based on. Hula is prophecy. Lilindol means earthquake will strike. Iba't iba is different and lugar means place. Ayon sa hula, lilindol daw sa iba't ibang lugar. According to the prophecy, earthquakes will strike in different places. Well, that's all for now. Thank you for watching and if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Salamat po!